from one celebration to another. Speaking of celebrating women and their significant contribution to our societies, this month, America will celebrate NASA's 50th anniversary of mankind's historical mission to the moon. While that journey has forever changed mankind's understanding of heavenly light and the relationship to our planet, equal gender participation in space travel still remains out of reach. A new exhibit currently on view at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York shows how Galileo telescope invention gave back to the interplay between science arts and pop culture. The head of the Department of Photographs and to welcome you to the Matt to inaugurate our exhibition Apollo's Muse, The Moon in the Age of Photography. Um, the show mixes art and science, uh, avant-garde filmmaking and TV news. Um, this is the first full-scale examination of the relationship between photography and lunar imagery and it will survey visual representations of the moon from the dawn of the medium through the present. Um, in this very gallery where we are now, we're surrounded by a large set of the remarkable photographs of Loewy and Puiseaux. It's their atlas of the moon that they made at the Paris Observatory over the course of 14 years from 1894 to, 18, to 1908. Um, it's sort of a, an amazing achievement, and I believe this is the first time that the entire atlas has been shown in one space, and we're really honored. <laughs> So the museum, of course, secured, um, as, uh, as you can see in the exhibition, exceptional loans from many institutional and private collectors, including among the first photographs of the moon and first editions of Galileo and Helvelius, um, who, those scientific treatises which, of course, predated photography. The Met has been actively collecting lunar-related imagery since 1933, when we acquired by gift of the great Alfred Stieglitz a masterpiece print by his colleague Edward Steichen. The sublime photograph is just on the other side of that wall right there behind you. It's entitled The Pond Moonrise and dates from 1904. And it's a picture of the effect of the moon, the power of moonlight to create an, another world on this world. Um, of course, we built a fine collection of the moon, which is Earth's only satellite from photography's beginnings. And I strongly suggest that you take a peek at our newest discovery. It's a small daguerreotype about this big, acquired in 2019. It dates from 1848 to 1852. And on that little plate, there are 18 pictures, uh, images of the moon, the full moon. It's a remarkable work. It was made in England, probably by the French photographer Claude. It's a gem and worth the detour. It's in the first gallery. The exhibition also poses questions about the balance of gender equality in space travel. I spoke with the curator of the exhibition. So, can you talk to us about these um, pictures? Oh, yes. So, in this section of the show, uh, we're look, it's, we've collected work by contemporary artists uh, reflecting on lunar imagery. This is a work by the photographer Judy Dater in which she photographed herself um, in uh, the landscape of the American Southwest, which looks very much like the moon. Um, and she's standing far away in the shadow of the tripod uh, cast on the ground. Um, and it's reminiscent of the photographs that were taken on the moon when uh, the actual, uh, when the Apollo mission landed there. Um, but in this case, it's a woman. Of course, it poses the question, um, why hasn't there ever been a woman on the moon? Um, it has to do with the space program and, and uh, astronomy and space exploration in general being very male dominated. So this was uh, a reaction to that and, and posing a question about um, the balance of gender equality uh, in all spheres, including uh, sp space exploration. Okay. So this whole area is dedicated to women? Well, we've uh, included uh, uh, many women artists in we this. Uh, in, yeah, we've included many women artists in this section of the show. Um, not, not exclusively, um, but, um, but as, many, as many as we could. Okay. Why is it important and what did you discover when you were collecting the picture? Um, well, um, there, 
practically no women artists in the historical section of the show, um, although we did have um, one photograph of uh, the first woman cosmonaut, uh, Valentina Tereshkova, who was a, a Russian cosmonaut, Soviet cosmonaut, um, and, but that was, that was really the best we could do in terms of uh, uh, the early part. So in this part, we wanted to include um, a lot of women artists uh, to try to balance things a little bit. Oh, okay. Why is it important to have this show at this particular period? Why, why, why is it important? And well, it's the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing, um, and so it's a time to both celebrate that event and also look back at the history critically um, and see uh, how photography has played a role and uh, what its larger cultural impact has been. Okay. Talk, talk to us about the dress that you're wearing. Okay. okay. So um, the dress um, is um, an image from the exhibition uh, by the painter uh, and illustrator Chesley Bonestell, um, who made many uh, astronomical illustrations um, of the moon and other planets. Okay. Fifty years ago, mankind made impossible a reality, thereby changing the world for the better. Once again, we are being urged to think bigger and better to better our societies and inspire the next generations of scientists, technologists, fashion designers, architects, nurses, doctors, artists, musicians, athletes, educators, health professionals, businesses, big and small, and governments all around the world. Tear down this wall. That's a line from President Reagan's 1987 speech in West Berlin, urging General Gorbachev of the Soviet Union to open up the Berlin Wall, which at the time divided the East and West Berlin. In 2019, it's time for us to tear down the wall of gender inequality in all of our societies. Let's listen to the young girls and boys who are urging us to do and be better as societies, as a nation, as a world, by treating and paying women equally as men. That's the latest episode of Women and Things. You can watch other episode on our Facebook page or YouTube channel theafricabazaar.com and check out our website for more news content. I am Kemi Oshukoya. I hope you will tune in again. In the meantime, remember, stay open to new experience, get involved in your community, and encourage one another. I will see you again soon. Thank you.